Hey, what's cracking, y'all? I gotta do it a little differently today, it seems. Guess who's back? Your man is back, YouTube. It's kind of hesitant on, um, you know, it's been, I don't know, probably been a good month the other way it looks. I know. Uh, I kind of got a little, um, I don't know, maybe uh, out of touch with it. Um, it's a lot of, it's a lot of nonsense going on in the community, uh, the way I see it nowadays. Uh, long story short, man, it's a lot of suckers out there, man. <laughs> you know, I mean, don't get it twisted, y'all. We all nerds, and there's a lot of people fronting and uh, faking the funk. You know what I mean? Uh, a lot of egos out there, and it really don't need to be, man. This is it's a hobby, man. It's comic books. And uh, y'all doing a little too much, man. Um, a little, a little too many egos over, over, over a simple hobby. And I just kind of got a little fed up, so I'm just gonna put it down for a minute. Chill, man. Chill, little doggy. You know, kind of acting like that. A little, little thing with a whole, whole lot of, a little, whole lot of bark, no bite. So, um, yeah, I kind of put it down for, for a bit. Dang, chill. Uh, yeah, I put it down for a little bit. And then, um, had a little health mishap. Got, uh, got laid up in the hospital for like a week. But I'm good now, though. So, um, man, so I probably got, I got a big stack. So, I mean, and it's huge. So, Start with the 50 cent stuff first, I guess. Uh, let me put this in kind of, I'm, you know, I'm kind of, uh, I was going live, but it went, my computer's not, my computer did not let me go live today. For some strange reason. I got it all set up to go live, and it just turned me out of whack, so I'm going to have to upload this somehow. Hopefully that'll work. So, um, let's do it like this. Uh, got this. Um, this is, uh, the NAM number 52, Punisher Invades the NAM, yeah, buddy, got out the 50 cent box, my uh, LCS, pretty dope, got, uh, Frank Castle with snot coming out of his nose, <laughs> yeah, apparently this is, uh, his, uh, first appearance in, uh, uh, this title, or this, this comic. Punisher invades now. Now, I heard about I heard about uh, something about the that a while back, so I saw it and decided to pick it up. Then I heard some something about this um, this character in the middle. I checked it on eBay. I thought it was going for a little more than what it is, but I don't know. One never can tell, right? Um, Star Wars, The Clone Wars, number two. I forget her name. But, uh, I used to love this cartoon. I love the art. So, saw for 50 cents. Decided to go ahead and pick it up. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. And then, um, you guys know I love my image titles. Try to run through these real quick, because I went ahead and grabbed the, uh, the set. Yeah, well, number one through nine. This is a, a title called Satellite Sam. I've never heard of it before. This is uh, uh, by Matt Fraction. And um, it's kind of crazy because, uh, you know, I love my, my lady stick. I love my voluptuous women. And uh, it's kind of crazy. These uh, covers are kind of, you know, kind of provocative in their own special way. And they all, these women all got butter. So, uh, yeah, as you can see. Got the, got the thickness on her. Got the little lingerie. Hey, hey, hey. That's number one. And then number two. I ain't mad at that at all. Just how I like them. Number three. Mm, mm, mm. Tony. Number four. All these for 50 cents. You know, they were scattered, and there's a, he has a two fifty cent boxes, and there were, I was going through them, and I was just finding, you know, a couple of them were bunched together, but I was finding, like, two here, and then, you know, seven down, or down, you know, on the line, and I was like, man, 
man, there's you got quite a few, so I had to go back and dig through. Uh, so before I knew it, I had one through nine. Uh, it was just number five. And I didn't even realize what they were before I, you know, realized, you know, I think it's all, you know, women. Or a woman. It's a little Saturn on the, I guess that's on the, yeah, that's on the cheek. That's on the cheek, yo. Yeah, buddy. That's a little, little double, double trouble right there. Yeah, buddy. Man, I had my, my days of that action. Yeah, buddy. Mm-hmm. When I was a, when I thought I was a rock star. <laughs> Back in my music days. Uh, that's number uh, eight. Yeah, buddy. And, uh, number nine. Mm-hmm. I ain't mad at that. So, you know, I love my image titles. Um, you can never tell with uh, Netflix being all uh, gung ho. You know. I mean, it's an older, older, uh, older, older title. I think it came out in the early 200s, so maybe like 2003 or something like that. I think it was 2003. It could have been 2013. I've seen a three, so um, yeah, I got another copy of this because mine's was messed up. But this is perfect. Flawless, 50 cent, couldn't beat it. Um, this is a $10 book. Uh, DC's Beach Blanket Bad Guys, 10 Swinging Super Villain, sto super villain Stories. So, you know, $10 book for 50 cent. Not mad at that. Yeah, buddy. Man, I really hope this uh, uploads. For hope it records and uploads. I mean, it's recording because I can see the ticker. But, uh, I thought I, 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 I know I came across this before, but maybe I didn't get it. I thought I did. I could have swore I did, as a matter of fact, but, um, Batman, uh, annual number two. So I, when I got this, I thought I was getting a double and then I went to look for it. And then, uh, you know, cause I already have one kind of, uh, one with a printing defect. So I thought I, this was the third one I'd have, but. I guess I didn't pick it up last time. But this is a cool one I have now. So, yeah. This was a hot book when it came out, man. Got, um, Year of the Villain, uh, Sinestro number one. I, I have a feeling he's about to, um, he's about to be a, uh, hot news coming up with, uh, he's doing some stuff with the, uh, White Lantern and Black Lantern coming up in his story arc. What's on here? Watch out for him. I love the White Lanterns. They're my favorite out of all the lanterns. And I actually found this in um, 50 Cent Band. Um, I've been kind of intrigued by the character for, for a while. This is AJ Conan, uh, Belite number three. Um, I found it in the 50 Cent Band. So when I found it, I found it. I was happy to have found it. And I was thinking, man, I gotta, uh, you know, get up on the rest of these, right? So the next day, the very next day, uh, my, one of my uh, closest friends, he calls me and uh, says, man, uh, you gonna be home? I'm gonna come by and bring you a, a bunch of comics. And he comes by and brings me all, all of his uh, cold Conans and Conan story arcs. So he brought me all the Belites, all the Conans, all the Savage Conans, all the Savage Swords. I was like, wow, ain't that something? So he yeah, okay me all that stuff. This was real cool, man. I'm going to show you all that probably probably in the next haul. Um, let's take a couple of these out so I can just stop reaching in one by one. Kind of sitting on the lap here. Um, hope that's a good idea. Got, uh, this is all 50 cents so far. Um, got DC number three, Yasmin Putri cover. Good old Christopher Reeves. Homage. Beautiful. She's uh, one of my favorite artists. Well, even though they're my favorites, they're still hit or miss. Um, same like with this guy. This is Invisible Woman number one, 50 cents. Adam Hughes. Um, not that it's bad, but something about her face, I don't know. Kind of 
manly about the jawline. I mean, it's good cover and everything. It's just not. It's just. Nothing to write home to mom about. Um, we didn't got this for 50 cents. Sword Master number one. Go along with my arrow number one. That kind of got that kind of manga kind of feel. Yep. 50 cent. Can't go wrong with that. That was the last of the 50 cent buys. Now, this I got a few weeks back. Um, but like I said, I haven't made a haul. So, uh, this is Vampirella number one. Down on my comics. I don't know um, the, the name of the artist on this cover, but uh, yeah, number one. This is a variant. I, I mean, I can't remember. I, I know it's a. I don't know if it's a really big ratio variant or nothing like that, but I know it's a variant. It's Coffin Bound number one by Image. Yeah, boy. Yeah, boy, boy. Let me grab that. Heard it was uh, hot news. Man, I'm, I'm really happy with this haul. That's why I went ahead and made the video. I was kind of reluctant. I was telling my uh, uh, my guy, uh, uh, that comic book homie, you know. I mean, I was telling my uh, my LCS only yesterday. I was like, I don't think I'm going to make it. No, no hauls no more. Right to my guy, um, Journal's uh, Comics and Pop Culture in uh, uh, the LCS uh, a couple of days ago. And... Uh, you know, he has a great channel, too. Uh, you guys are going to make sure you follow him. If you're not, you don't know what you're missing. And, um, you know, I'm just, you know, like I said, uh, the thrill was kind of gone. Because, like I said, so I'm noticing a lot of suckers on the, on the uh, you know, on YouTube now. The community has taken a turn for the worst in my, you know, it seems like lately a lot of people are, you know, they have a air of arrogance kind of like, it's turning into, hey, look what I got, look what I got, and everybody's trying to outdo each other when it shouldn't be like that, you know, you should be trying to educate each other, not trying to one-up each other, you know what I mean, you know, it should be an, an informative type of thing, not a show-off type of thing, you know what I mean, everybody's getting a little too bougie, um, Secret Wars, Ghost Panther number three, now, you don't have to be all knowledgeable because, as you can see, I'm I'm showing you what I got. You know what I mean. But if I'm showing you what I got and not giving you too much information behind it, which I do, a lot of times I'm showing you and telling you either, you know, what it is or who, who the artist is, you know, on the cover, or giving you some, you know, tidbit of information about it. You know, um, in general, I'm letting you know what's out there. You know what I mean? Because, like I said, whether I got one follower or one thousand followers. I'm doing it for the love and a hobby, because like I said, you know, each one teach one. You know, I'm, I'm, I might be helping out some. I might be helping out at least one person, maybe. You know, somebody who's just getting into the hobby, who might not know nothing. And I might be helping that one person out. You know, get a head a heads up on things. Uh, yeah, I'm running my mouth too much. Hey, check this out. Um. Marvel Comics Presents, number six, second printing. Might turn into something, but probably not. You know. Hey, I think uh, I was talking about an LCS owner. I was, I think there were six characters I was trying to remember. I couldn't left off one. But I think uh, Blade, uh, Ghost Rider, Moon Knight, um, I don't think I was talking I'm going to say Chang chi um, Morbius, and, uh, or is it Ghost Rider? Maybe Werewolf by Night? Those guys are going to be real hot, real hot coming up. I think, you know, they're going to make a real big push on those characters. Batgirl number 37. Coverage kind of weird, but I like it. Yeah, well, those are, are are all key for some reason. I really am not getting into I'm really cutting down on my just you know cover buying and getting you know stuff for anything I get you know from this point out is pretty much been for keys. You know what I mean? And I'm really really happy with the stuff I got uh, yesterday. Been getting really happy, really really happy. 
Got some cool stuff yesterday. Yesterday was a good day. So this is uh, some DC Black Label stuff. Didn't realize I had uh, um, Batman Light Last Night on Earth um, book one. That was the one with, uh, you know, Batman walking away with uh, the, the lantern, which is really the Joker's head, I guess. But this is uh, book two, Batman Last Night, on, Last Night on Earth. I like that cover. Capullo. That's a, Capullo's a bad dude, man. I really like that. I'll stop pulling that at an angle. Get that glare out of there for y'all. By the way, he got the uh, JR, JR, John Romita Jr. cover. See, that's the kind of stuff I'm talking about. When I say JR, JR, I might be informing somebody who don't know who JR, JR is. You know, I say JR, JR, they're like, huh, what is he talking about, JR, JR? And I come right behind him and say John Romita Jr. And I'm like, oh, okay. And then they, then they know behind that. Because I'm telling you, we got 210 followers now. One of y'all didn't know who JRJR was when I said that. Mm -hmm. I just hit y'all. I just hit one of y'all to something. I'm just messing around with you. Yeah, uh, this is John Romita Jr. cover. Yeah, he's uh, he's looking a little better. I like, I like to uh, change up his style. And I'm going to keep it 100. Like, some people evolve, you know. Evolution is a good thing, in any way. But some people evolve up. Some people evolve down. Like um, I like the way John Romita Jr. has evolved. Is his style has changed for the better, in my opinion. This is all IMO. Uh, Art Adams, for instance, his style. I think he used to his style used to look better in uh, the late '80s, mid to late '80s. Um, the style he, he uses now, not so much. Like all the covers he's been doing and stuff, not so much. Um, kind of like Ron Lim. I think Ron Lim, well, Ron Lim is kind of like at a standstill. Kind of like still draws the same. Yeah. Uh, Y'all, I got fatigue for the, the four main ones. Uh, it's, it's our germ. Jenny Frizen, Josh Middleton, and uh, uh, Francesco Mattina. Uh, not to say I don't love them or nothing, but I'm definitely got got the fatigue, got a fab for it. But um, my girl Jenny Frizen, uh, wow, she killed it with this one. I absolutely love this cover. This is the baddest cover I've seen in a while. I mean, she got the uh, bracelets right. Reflection on the sword, right? I love the face and the pouty lips. The headband reflection is, is dope. The arms got a right amount of, uh, they, look, they got a little chunk to them on all the muscles. Uh, yeah. Hand is a little big, but yeah, I mean, it's just, I, I love this cover. Totally badass. I mean, she, she usually goes with a certain kind of face with her Wonder Woman that kind of has this kind of standard face that she uses a lot of. And I love that cheetah, cheetah claw coming out reaching out to grab her I love it I love that cover one of my favorite of hers in a long time and I did like the issue before it with uh, the, the, the full facial of cheetah before this one but I do love this one the one that uh, comes after this this is a uh, 76, Wonder Woman 76, sorry for him to tell you that. This is Wonder Woman 77. Um, and I actually think this is a, a long-term play, like a simple man and, uh, like to say, Bolo, like to say. This is a long-term play, number 77, for when uh, the movie does come out. Because this is actually, a, you know, a full-bodied uh, cover of her. And it's pretty good-looking. Uh, my man, uh, that combo called me, he wasn't feeling it, uh, but I, I kind of like this cover. So, I went ahead and grabbed, um, I really like this cover. It's got a uh, red cloud on it. This is a uh, uh, part of the year of the villain, uh, Art, dark gifts. 
This is uh, Action Comics 1014, Red Cloud, Attack of Superman, and uh, if you guys ain't up on this, you better be, because there is a cameo, 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 cameo appearance of uh, Naomi in the back, and uh, if you guys fell off of Naomi, I don't know why you would do that, you know, you guys, that's how I know you guys ain't real, the ones that fell off, you guys are uh, all about that hype. Y'all ain't about that life, you know, you, you guys as followers, you know, y'all the sheep, but I'm leading the herd, you feel me, that's my word, I don't, I don't listen to y'all, I do what feels right, and that's why, you know, that's why I take those uh, Thor Gods of Thunder, for example, that's why, you know, like, um, when I was at the con this uh, past, what was it, uh, February, March, you know, I picked up uh, number two for 10 bucks. You see see where it's at now, I'll just jump. So, you know, I go with my intuition and my gut feeling, you know what I mean? Um, like, uh, was it number, number eight, eight, number 11? They're doing big numbers now, too. You know what I mean? Um, like, um. Uh, Venom number three, third printing, stuff like that. Um, I don't know why I have trouble saying this word. Prodigal Son, Silver Surfer number one. Uh, I, for, for some reason, this guy, I think he's going to be a big deal coming up. It might be, it might take a minute, but. I think it looks pretty badass. It might be something in the future. But Galactus' heralds really don't do too much. I mean, I got the first appearance of uh, Gabriel Airwalker, which is uh, Fantastic Four number 120. It does modest numbers. I mean, it doesn't, it doesn't even reach a... Uh... Oh, no, it does something. Good condition. Mine's is nice, too, so... I mean... I think I think that's more the fact that it's early bronze and you know those, those things are starting to get up there just for the simple fact that it's early bronze. So, excuse me. And here is uh, I like this variant. It does have a little bit of uh, bindery color fading, which my, my homie, uh, that comic book homie, pointed out to me. I didn't notice it, but you know on the fold, the color kind of, you know, it, it, it's not really a color rub, but because of the fold, it kind of didn't stay. I don't know if it's because of the paper, you know, sometimes they use a, a certain kind of paper that, you know, when you fold it, it kind of separates. I don't know if you guys can see it. You guys can see it. See what I mean? Yeah, so yeah, he put. I didn't even notice he pointed it out to me. But uh, House of X number one, I like this cover the best, so I ran with it. But because he told me that, and because of me speaking on it again, like just now, I probably wind up getting another uh, cover, like a totally different cover. But this was my favorite, so and all they were all like that, so. I mean, it just wasn't, you know, my shop owner, you know, or nothing like that. It's just that, for some reason, they printed it that. This, it wasn't, I don't think that's a glossy. Is that glossy? Yeah, that's a glossy. Maybe they, maybe they were just rubbed or something. I don't know. I'll look into it, see if any more dam or damage like that. But, um, I got a... Powers of X. I like to call it Powers of X. Y'all be saying Powers of Ten, but I don't like that. It sounds stupid. I like Powers of X. Powers of Ten. Powers of X. House of X. Powers of X. But yeah, number number one. Yeah. So then, um, uh, I was hearing that um, number two uh, was. You know, hot and all that stuff, because uh, I think it was Dr. Um, 
Maria Moriah Mortag Mortagger Mora Mor Moira Moya Mori Moira. Because uh, I'll be watching that show Shits Shits Creek on Netflix, and her name is uh, Moy Moy Moira M O M O I R A Moira Moira uh, Moira Mattagger. So um, I guess she turns into something. That's why that issue was uh, key. And uh, I'm like, dang. Uh. And then yesterday, I go to my LCS because um, I was taking back a couple of issues that I had. I had an issue of Hulk that I had here that was a double, and I also had a uh, Action Comics 1014 already. So I was taking those back to trade, you know, because I didn't need them. Like, sure, you know, so I'm out. And I went back there, just looked in the box, the House of X box, and wouldn't you know it, found two copies of uh, Powers of X number two, just sitting there in the box. Yes, sir. Come on now. I don't want to look you do. No, not like these is ultra expensive or nothing, but they're at least going for. You know, 15, something like that, 10, 15 bucks. So I was super ultra happy to have them, especially when I had been kind of been on the lookout for them. So yeah, pretty stoked about it. Pretty stoked about it. His buddy, his buddy, the silly putty. And then I went ahead and found this here. Uh, Conan number eight, the uh, carnageized cover by Bill Stinky Winky, Bill Sinkovitz, Sinkovitz, yeah, that's pretty bad, that's a bad cover, I like the style, yeah, he's a man of many, many faces, first, uh, carnageized, uh, Conan, pretty bad, pretty badass. And uh, Web of Venom, Funeral Pyre, 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 num number one. So I say that, I'm not really sure. I don't even know what this is about, what really, but I collected Web of Venom, so uh, yeah, I have them all. Didn't have this one, you know? I like this one. Uh, the Russell Darm, the Russell Dodderman. Architect, I'm just kidding, Architect, uh, a blueprint cover for uh, screen, number one. Got that. Got the um, Venom annual number one, which is kind of confusing to me because Venom already has an annual number one. You know, I don't think they... Um, Realize that this is actually should be a uh, Venom annual number two. Um, I don't think you can really reboot an annual, and if they did, that is just really stupid. I was just talking to uh, my LCS owner, and I've been talking to a few people like that about it lately. Um, I mean, how many times we gonna reboot stuff, y'all? It's just getting really, really monotonous, and I do not understand the purpose. I mean, we're just going in and volume after volume. I bet those guys over at, uh, um, what's that, uh, gosh, I forget the name of it. Oh, my gosh. Any other time I ever remember. The guys who make the, uh, the books, you know, like my guy Key Collector or, um, what's the name of that damn book? Damn it. Over, Overstreet. Overstreet? Yeah, Overstreet. I was about to say, yeah, I can't remember. Yeah, they got, over, over at Overstreet, they hate it. You know, you got f 15 different volumes for one title for no apparent reason. They're just rebooting, you know, X Force over again after only, uh, after, after only, it hasn't even been started, for, been going for a year with the past volume. It's just, for literally no reason, you know, it's just, you know, just get, other than that they get a new artist, I mean, okay, you got a new artist, keep it going, you know, start a new story arc, I mean, does that, 
create the necessity to start a whole new volume? I mean, I don't, I don't get it. I, just, I really don't. So, I'm saying that to say, I don't know if that's the reason why this is another Venom Annual number one, because there's already a Venom, Venom Annual number one. Um, so, this should technically, technically be number two, but anyway. And annual number one again. But uh, she's pretty badass, whoever that is. And this is a uh, pretty dope. Venom number 17. Let's do down here. Makes it making a lot of noise. Uh, yeah, this is a hot book. Guys, don't. Uh, if you don't know, now you know. If you don't have it, have it. You better go grab it. Um, yeah. Yes, sir. I think it's pretty much sold out everywhere. You know about this and his tongue. They already on like a. They're going to a fourth print on this. Absolute carnage number one. Yeah. This is uh. This is hot news. It's hot potatoes, alligator. I'm telling you. Yeah, all things carnage. Absolute carnage number two. Ryan Stegman is my dude, man. Tony Case. I mean, so he basically got them doing Venom and Carnage. Nasty. Nasty. And I, I love Venom. And they doing Carnage, so I mean, it's a no-brainer. Mortal Hulk number 22. Alex Ross on the covers. Come on. I need, to get, I need to get caught up on this. But, I mean, it's been great so far, so I ain't even, I ain't even worried about it. I'm not even worried about a damn thing. Yes, sir. Look at that. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Red Harpy. A big hoax. Uh, eyebrows, you know, his little eyebrow, uh, his brow is. You know, some old Pro Magnum stuff. Mortal Hulk. Number 23. Yeah, man. I don't know. Look at that. I don't know what's up with Abomination's grill. Like got a claw face. His face was like made out of a hand claw or something. I don't know who this dude is. He looked like I was gonna say he looked like the lawnmower man. This dude looked like uh um <laughs> he looked like uh what's this dude's name with the bees? Uh, Candyman. <laughs> ah, he do look like Candyman. That's some funny stuff. Yeah, man. You can't go wrong with a Mortal Hulk. And last but not least, the Coup de Gras. The Coup de Gracie. Yeah, man. He hooked me up, too. He, he, gave, me a, uh, he gave me a deal with the steel. I mean, he seriously gave me a deal. He gave me this for like half off, you know, really. And he had not, he was already like, he was selling it for like probably like at least almost half of what it was going for. And he knocked about five bucks off, like five off. He's he just cool like that, man. My LCDS owner is cooler than yours. <laughs> Bam! Boys of Summer. Back in Go, California, I if you're ever out this way, do yourself a favor. Stop by and say, hey, Kevin Brown, he's the man. He's the man. My guy Rick Lopez is probably in there too. There's a lot of cool dudes in there, man. Um, check this out, man. I'm happy. I'm, I'm so happy. Bam! Spawn number 300. Look at that. This is, I think this is the 150 variant. BAM! 
Yeah, say it like that when you show it. BAM! Yeah, buddy. Let me get that glare out of there. Yeah, I, I can't remember who did this. Let's see. Oh! Of course it says. It's right there. Can you see it, kids? Who did that? Who did that cover? You see what it is. Yeah, I think it's like 150. 150. Yeah, man. He gave it to me for a steal. I had to go ahead and do it. Might put me back a little bit for, after, for, for a minute. For a bit. For a smidgen. But, uh, yeah. Yeah, so, uh. Yeah, man. That's what I got, man. I'm glad to be back, y'all. Oh, yeah. I went and picked this up, too. This is, uh. Issue number 26, September for November. Uh, Marvel preview. A lot of good stuff in here. Actually, uh, was doing my homework on this. And, um, oops. Oopsie doopsie. Uh, this is, uh, issue number 16. Uh, August for, uh, October. And, uh, DC preview. So. And this is, uh, issue 17, DC Previews, uh, September for November. I was actually doing my homework out of this one. This is the one I was telling you about. I was looking through it, and I saw, um, that, uh, uh, something big is going to happen for Sinestro and coming up in, uh, November. So be on the lookout if you're into, uh, White, White Lanterns and Sinestro. I don't think it's that, that, you know. Not a big Green Lantern fan, but I am a fan of, uh, like I said, the. For some reason, I like the White Lanterns and that whole White Lantern, Black Lantern story arc. Not too knowledgeable, just kind of getting into it, but it has me intrigued, you know. I'm all ears. So, y'all, that's my haul. Um, you know, I'm, I'm gonna start running my mouth and see if I can't upload this so I. I couldn't get in live, so you guys are going to be checking me out on the get back, that's for sure. Um, like I always say, thank you for tuning in. Tune in again, my friends. Until then, I'm your man AM. This is Comics Most Wanted. Each one, teach one. Tell your friends about me. And um, y'all stay hunting them down, man. All my best. Catch you on the next, all right? Peace. See if I can't stop this. Cut it, cut it in just in time. He's my mom or somebody running the microwaves. Probably one of my knucklehead sons. Oh, there's a stop button right there. All right, y'all. Y'all be easy. Peace.